okay now i want to make the the similar uh, uh, display properties as you can see here so uh, we can also use the layers but right now i'm not interested to make the layers here which you can make from here okay so i just want to make the same uh, colors here the first thing is that you have to hide the tank okay and second thing is that we will be hiding the these uh, uh, faces which are used for the interfaces and uh, we are going to provide the so see the difference and if you display the shaft so they will be exactly same they are exactly same okay so let's work uh, let's work on the the properties of the this uh, these blades so i told you that we can select them like uh, uh, right click uh, uh, from right to left and uh, we can change the colors of the faces separately so this can be done like this or you can put the one single color for these all faces okay let's make them as the blue color and the bottom one as the let's say the some shade of the green color okay now display the tank and uh, hide these surfaces for a, for a time being just for time being and uh, i want to provide this one as the, and also make this body as the opaque okay so i want to provide this uh, body some color so let's say this is a face color same thing goes with the second part of the shaft okay here i'm going to provide the some uh, different colors but they are going to be uh, like uh, transparent and same goes here and uh, here and uh, then right click on the shaft and uh, faces and show all faces so you have to also make these faces as a transparent and uh, provide the some colors here okay now display the domain 1 and domain 2 so they have the different colors but uh, the idea is same you can see the same thing okay so this concludes the uh, the geometry part uh, the one remaining thing is that the boundary condition that i will be showing you in the next video and uh, after putting the names here i will be showing you the meshing process uh, in the ansys